it's Amy Dad, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. It's Tuesday here at the house, and uh, we are making a garlic butter pork chop. Uh, it's been a little while since I've made this, but it's a great recipe and so fast and easy. So the link is in this post. You'll see it as soon as I finish. Let me just tell you guys, we are making this delicious pork chops. Now, I love pork chops. You can do this with chicken. You can do this with turkey cutlets. You can do it with whatever you prefer. But we're doing it with pork chops, and we're using bone-in pork chops tonight. And what I did before I jumped on is I set uh, my butter. I got four tablespoons of butter, and I put that in a skillet, and then I sauteed a little bit of minced garlic. Now, you can leave the garlic off and just use garlic powder later if you want to. But what I did is I took two quarts of two. I took two four tablespoons of butter. I missed a little bit of garlic and then I took these beautiful pork chops and I seasoned the pork chops with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of Italian seasoning and a little extra garlic powder, just a tiny bit of garlic powder. So salt, pepper and, and Italian is really all you need. And then we're gonna put these in the uh, warmer while we're making our sauce. Now it's a garlic butter pork chop and we're gonna make an amazing sauce. So look how pretty these are. Are they not beautiful? Give me some hearts guys if this looks great already. Super excited for you to guys see how easy this is. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, but I really wanna know right now, what are you doing for dinner tonight? What are you doing for dinner that's low carb or keto friendly? Share this video if this sounds like a delicious dish or if these look good already. I'm gonna put this in the warmer and I'll be right back. Ooh, they smell delicious. We've got a side of roasted broccoli in the, um, in the uh, oven right now too. So we took some broccoli and we put it on a roasting pan or a baking sheet and we heavily drizzled with avocado oil and salt and pepper. That's it, the broccoli is gonna be delicious with this sauce we're making. So what I'm gonna do now is take that same skillet with all the bits and the goodness from the pork chops, the rest of the butter and the little bit of garlic that was left in here, and we're going to make us a sauce. So I'm gonna use a half a cup of chicken broth, a half a cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna do a half a cup of heavy cream. We're gonna do a squeeze of a lemon, about half a lemon's really all you need. We're gonna season it with salt and pepper, and we're just gonna let this simmer, guys. And this makes a delicious garlic butter pork chop. So I got a half a cup of heavy cream, Half a cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna go ahead and season it with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm gonna add just a little bit, tiny bit of, of garlic powder just because I barely touched the garlic this time. I didn't have a whole lot of garlic. And then we're gonna cut this lemon and we're gonna squeeze half of a lemon. Mm, this is gonna be so yummy. Got a little lemon squeezer here. We're gonna squeeze about half that lemon. Oh, making a mess. Just got my house clean today and I'm making a mess. Oh, that's gonna be so good. That smells delicious. I love a fresh lemon. I love the smell of lemon and I love the taste of lemon. All right, let me pour this over here. Now I've got half a lemon left. I can save it for something else or Ricky can use it in his drinks. He loves to squeeze a lemon in his drinks. And then we're just gonna let this saute. And you see it looks a little greasy because there's butter in there. And it's gonna be delicious. So as we simmer this, it will start to thicken. So I'm gonna turn up on some uh, high heat for a second just to get it uh, boiling. And then we're gonna turn it down to a low simmer. Now I'm just making a little bit of sauce to go over the pork chops. You can make more than this. You can do a cup of each and season, season it accordingly. We're gonna taste it before we finish up just to make sure it doesn't need any more salt or pepper. And that's it, it's super fast and delicious. So we've got a side of roasted broccoli. We're making our pork chops. We took the pork chops, we seasoned them with salt, pepper, a little bit of Italian. If you wanna add some garlic, you can leave it off if you want to. And then we took four tablespoons of butter and we melted that butter in the skillet and sauteed a little bit of garlic. I used minced garlic. You can leave it out if you want to and you can just use garlic powder to season this. But we took those pork chops and we, we cooked them in that garlic butter. Yes, we did. The seasoned pork chops and the garlic butter. And then we just moved them over into a warmer because now we're making the sauce. And as the sauce thickens, we're just gonna let those pork chops stay warm. And if we need to, if you don't have a warmer, no big deal. You can just put them on a plate. And when this is done, just stick them back in the sauce and let them get warm that way. Uh, but it doesn't take very long to make this. We've got it on a medium simmer. And it actually thickens up pretty fast on my stove top here. My, my eye gets really hot. This, this back eye is like the hottest thing ever. Uh, but the, the, the warmer you do it and the, the shorter, <clears throat> longer you simmer this, it'll thicken up. So right now it looks like just straight water. 
It looks like lemon. It looks like a dirty lemon water. <laughs> but it's going to be a delicious, uh, thick sauce in a few minutes. <clears throat> so let me see if you guys have any questions for me. And then I was going to tell you guys, if you would like, if you would like, I have $20 coupons that are going to expire. And you can use them for new customers. You can use them if you're already an existing customer. But I need to get rid of them. I don't want them to go to waste. I've got $20 coupons on all of our ketones. So if you're a brand new customer, I recommend our variety box. And you would want to get this variety box with my coupon. And if you're an existing customer, guys, get anything you want. It's a $20 coupon. You can use it for anything you want to. I'm pretty sure you can use it for anything you want to. I know you can use it for all the ketones. But let me know if you would like it. What you have to do. What you have to do is go to my page and message me and just say, hey, I want the $20 coupon. Uh, and I will send it to you. I only have, a, I only have, I don't have an unlimited amount. So if you want one, make sure you send me that message because I'm going to go to my messages first. And then I'll come back to the video if I have any more left. So if you want a $20 coupon, put $20 in a message to me on the Keto Queen page. All you have to do is go to my picture up there at the top of this video and send me a message. And I'm going to enter those messages first. First come, first serve, but I'm excited to get rid of them. I love to help everybody out with some good sales. And those drinks are amazing for fat loss, energy, and focus primarily. But I love them for all the good reasons. Man, it's so dark in my kitchen without this light. I don't know why I keep doing that. I think I've got an issue in my... i got an issue over here with this light switch. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if that makes it better. Maybe not. Who knows? I don't know what's going on with this crazy thing. Let me see if you guys have any questions. We're just simmering this sauce until it thickens. And I've got my broccoli in the oven as a side dish. Hey, my little flanky baby. Hey, my little baby girl. She's just sitting under my feet, right on top of my feet. Oh, Jackie had pork chops tonight. Turkey sausage and asparagus sounds amazing, Sarah. Jackie baked her pork chops. I love them that way, too. Uh, let's see. Melissa said this looks great. Big Mac salad with ground turkey. That sounds awesome, Angela. Keto meatballs with cauliflower rice. That sounds really good. Hey, Janice, how are you? Hey, Maggie, I haven't done this in a while. We had keto soup with grilled cheese shuffles. That sounds amazing. Like, I love the soup and shuffles are amazing. Uh, Sarah said the asparagus I cooked was delicious. Onion powder, garlic powder, quick stir, and olive oil. Yum, that sounds amazing. Um, let's see. Can I substitute sour cream instead of cream and lemon? Sure. Uh, so sour cream and okay. You say can I substitute? Can I substitute sour cream instead of cream and lemon? So you're talking about chicken broth and sour cream. That would definitely make a thick sauce. I think it would taste good. Uh, you can leave the lemon out if you want to, but all you really have is a, a creamy chicken base. But I think it'll be good. I would season it with salt and pepper and a uh, garlic powder and see what happens. Oh my goodness, flathead trout, that sounds amazing. Sounds amazing, Carol. Is it okay to have three nights per day? Absolutely, you can have one. Um, you can have three, Trish. You can't really overdose on them. Uh, it's not a medication, so you can't overdose. Um, whatever your body doesn't need, it just processes out. Uh, I generally, every single day, have two. Okay, let's look at this, guys. It was just dirty water. Now it's getting a little thicker. You see it's a little, it takes a little longer to come off the spoon. It's getting a little thicker. We're going to keep on going. It's almost done. But yes, Trish, you, you can use as many as you want to. Hey, Mary Ann. Thank you so much. I'm glad you love all the recipes. What's the ingredients for the sauce? We have a half a cup of chicken broth, half a cup of heavy cream, a squeeze of lemon, and we put that inside the rest that's left of the garlic butter that we sauteed the pork chops in. The recipe is in this post as soon as I finish up the video. Uh, you will see uh, the link actually is available there for you guys. So you can get in there and get that recipe and more. Homemade chicken strips. Yum, that sounds great. Oh, you guys are just doing good. Hey, Judy, how are you? Oh, the, 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 the juicy Judy's last night were delicious. Judy, you know I made that from your name, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just thought it sounded good. Juicy, uh, ju a juicy Judy. Uh, keto friendly meatloaf is in the oven. That sounds awesome. I tried the cod recipe. Amazing. Oh, I'm so glad you loved it, Shanda. So glad you love it. I will definitely be doing it again myself because it was really good. Dad is doing really well today, Lisa. Thank you so much. I sure appreciate you guys. And I see Wendy PM me for that coupon. So if anybody needs a $20 coupon or if you want a $20 coupon for your drinks, just send me a message. All new customers, guys, are going to get $20 off. 
If you're a brand new customer, you can get $10 or $20, but right now I've got some $20 coupons. So if you've never tried these drinks before, you definitely want to make sure you get some. But anyone who wants the $20 coupon, I'm willing to share. So I will be sending them back to you in Messenger when you send me a message. Yes, Lisa, glory to God for sure. All right, guys, you see this is thickening up even more. We're just going to let it keep on going. I want to get it thick. And the great thing about any kind of sauces is if it gets too thick, all you have to do is like put a little bit of I mean, a little bit of spoonful of uh, chicken broth thins it right up. If you want to put a little splash of heavy cream, it'll thin it right up. Uh, so don't go, don't uh, be worried if it gets too thick because you can always thin it back out with a little bit of, um, uh, Lord, I can't talk, a little bit more broth or a little bit more heavy cream. So this is looking delicious. I do want to taste it. Guess what? It's just me and Ricky eating tonight. So I think I'll be perfectly okay sticking my finger in there. Oh, that's really, really, really good. Trying to decide if I want to add a little bit more salt. And I would leave it. Woo! It's just, a, it's just a real. And I wouldn't mind a little bit more lemon in there myself. Right. It's really good. But I add, added for sure a little bit more salt. Just taste it to see if you need anything else. I also love pepper in my sauce. So I'm going to add just a little bit more pepper. And you guys, this full recipe is in the link. I'm totally new to this. Would love more information. Uh, send me a message, Eileen. I would love to uh, get you that information. Just send me a message in Messenger. Oh, man. This is looking so good. Now, I'm telling you, the longer it sits, the longer it simmers, the thicker it gets. And it will get thicker faster. So, you'll see it's getting a little bit thicker as we go. We're just going to let this keep on going. And then what I'm going to do, guys, is just take those pork chops and pour this or, or just spoon this right over top of the pork chops. It's going to be delicious. Hey, Debbie, thank you so much. I sure appreciate it, guys. You are awesome. I appreciate all of my friends so, so much. You just don't even know. The broccoli in the oven is smelling fantastic. I love broccoli. Ricky doesn't love the smell of it, but we really love to eat it. When you roast broccoli in the, the oven, just with salt and pepper, I mean, that's all you have to do. Avocado oil or olive oil, salt and pepper, and just roast it until it browns. I mean, it's just delicious. <laughs> we love it. Hey, my little Planky Susu. Girl, you jumping on me? You jumping on me? You jumping on me? Oh, she wants me to hold her. Hang on a minute. I'll hold you. I'll hold you just a second. Because where's my baby? Let me come over here. Look, she just loves her mama or misses her mama. You can't get close to the food. We're going to stay over here. Oh, where's my baby? She missed her mommy this weekend. I come home yesterday and she just stared at me. We just sit on the couch and she just literally got in my face and just stared at me. Just melted me. It melted mommy's heart. Okay, you gotta get down a minute. I'm almost done with dinner. She said, I know. That's why I want to come up here. I want some. Okay, and you'll see this is really, can you guys see this? Can you actually see it? All right, so it's really, really cooking fast. You'll see it's cooking down. I mean, when you stir it, you can actually see the skillet. So you don't want to cook it all the way gone. We just want it to be a little, oh, see how that? Used to be like water, and now it's getting thicker and thicker. You can cook this to the consistency you like. You can make it super thick, like a paste. Or you can cook it kind of thin. I mean, it's really up to you. I think it actually looks perfect just like it is. So I'm turning it off. I'm going to pull it off the heat. It does not take long at all for it to cool off, though. So if you need to throw it back on there for a minute, you're welcome to. I'm going to check on my broccoli first to see if it's ready for me. And if it is, you guys are going to see me actually finish up the dish, which you rarely get to see. All right, I'm going to put this over here. So I can put that. Um, I probably need, probably need one of these. Oh, that broccoli is fantastic. Oh, look how pretty this broccoli is. I mean, we absolutely love roasted broccoli. See how it's brown on the, on the trees? I call it the trees. Oh, yeah, it's done. I don't know, that big one's pretty, that big one's still, be, still pretty tough. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in there for a second. We can let it in there. Get down, girl. Now, for sure, without a doubt at all, the broccoli cools down super fast. So as soon as you take it out of the oven, I mean, it literally gets cold as you're letting it sit. So I always keep it in the oven until I'm ready to fix our plates because it really does cool off fast. But look at this. It was a watery liquid and now it's a thick gravy. And I'm just gonna take this and pour it right over top of these pork chops. Oh, that's gonna be so yummy. And you don't have to cover it. You can. You don't have to drench it. You can actually just leave some of the uh, leave some of the sauce in the pan, 
And if you want extra, you can always get extra. Ricky loves sauces though, so I don't think I can ever overdo it. But I mean, it looks delicious, just like it is. So this is the garlic butter pork chop. So super fast and easy to cook. The recipe is in this link. And you guys, let me just show you what it looks like. And then we will be done. Here we go. Can you see it okay? Give me some hearts if it looks delicious, if it sounds delicious, and share this video. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.